This week's 1044 is brought to you by Chevron Dello 600 ADF Ultra Low Ash Diesel Engine Oil. It's time to kick some ash. We've talked before about extending engine oil drain intervals, but this time we're going to hear from a fleet who's been there and done that. Hey everybody and welcome to the 1044, a weekly webisode from the editors here at CCJ. I'm Jason Cannon and my co-host on the other side is Matt Cole. An engine oil change in the grand scheme of things isn't really that big of a deal. It's really just pulling that truck in, a 20 to 30 minute fluid and filter swap, and then you're back on your way. At least that's how it's supposed to work. Even though it might be less than an hour, time in the shop is money, but the business case for extending an engine oil drain is mostly just buying less engine oil over a truck's life cycle. That is, assuming your PMs are on point. Glenn McDonald, Vice President of Maintenance for Memphis, Tennessee-based Ozark Motor Lines, joined the carry in 2003, just after the EGR mandate. And he said prior to that, he'd always thought that engine oil was engine oil. 15W40 and a change about every 15,000 miles and everything's fine. But as engines themselves began to evolve, so did Glenn's thoughts about engine oil drain intervals. Well, we started the oil sample. That, that's the key to it all is to sample. So we started the oil sample and, and started that pushed out to 20. And, uh, you know, at the same time there, 13, of course, uh, what, 04, we get the, the DPF, and, or 7, we get DPF. 10, we get, you know, the engine mandates are coming. And the API, the CI4, CI4 Plus, we came out in 03, 04. So there, there were a lot of... Uh, moving parts to it, and I was really amazed that through the sampling, you could see these different things happen as, you know, as we're changing formulas or trying this and trying that. As Ozark acquired new trucks, the newer models were coming equipped with longer recommended drain intervals from the factory. While Ozark was in the process of moving out the intervals on its Series 60s to 40,000 mile intervals, the then new Detroit DD15 came off the line with a 50,000 mile recommendation. We converted then to that uh, 1030 semi-synthetic in March of 2013. At that time, when we converted, we, we took a group of trucks in and, and pushed out to the 75,000 miles with the uh, 530 full synthetic. Saw just right away good results from that and ended up switching the fleet to the 530 full synthetic in October of 2014. Glenn and Ozark Motor Lines probably aren't the first fleet to push out their oil drains, but they're among the pioneers of using testing and science to make these kinds of decisions. And they trialed what was at the time PC-11, which is the specification of engine oils that became CK-4 and FA-4 that fleets buy today. The FA-4 product was a 1030, so we're going back to a, a 1030 instead of a 530 full synthetic, back to a 1030 semi-synthetic. You know, that oil was actually less expensive than the full synthetic. And as as we went along, everything looked good. We decided the, the smart thing for us was to just go with that FA4 product. Uh, it turns out that's what, uh, what Freightliner started filling the DD-15 engine at the factory with. And they extended their... Uh, for fuel-efficient fleets, extended their range to 75,000. You know, we had a group we were taking out to 100,000. Yep, you heard that right. 100,000 miles between oil changes. Glenn said the fleet didn't experience any problems taking these trucks out to 100,000 miles, but opted to pull them back into what he identified as the fleet's sweet spot, 75,000, which is also Detroit's recommended interval for fuel-efficient fleets. Why? Glenn tells us after this word from 1044 sponsor, Chevron Lubricants. Protecting your diesel engine and its after-treatment system has traditionally been a double-edged sword. The same engine oil that is so essential to protecting your engine's internal parts is also responsible for 90% of the ash that is clogging up your DPF and upping your fuel and maintenance costs. Outdated industry thinking still sees a trade-off between engine and emission system protection, and Chevron was tired of it. So they spent a decade of R&D developing a no-compromise formulation. Chevron Lubricants developed a new ultra-low ash diesel engine oil that is specifically designed to combat DPF ash clogging. Dello 600 ADF with Omnimax technology cuts sulfate ash by a whopping 60%, which reduces the rate of DPF clogging and extends DPF service life by two and a half times. 
And just think what you can do with all the MPGs you're going to add from cutting your number of regens. Bedello 600ADF isn't just about after treatment. It provides complete protection, extending drain intervals by preventing oil breakdown. Before you had to choose between protecting your engine or your after treatment system, and now you don't. 600 ADF from Dello with Omnimax technology, it's time to kick some ash. A concern going out to 100,000 was uh, filter light, you know, which had been a concern all along. We, we had discussed changing a filter at 50,000 miles and, you know, topping off. So you get a fresh gallon of oil and a fresh filter at 50,000, which, which we're doing what we call a mini service at 25,000 anyway. So we're we want to see the truck and touch the truck. So, but we, we just stopped that and said, Oh, enough. And we're, we're happy with the 75,000 with the FA4. Obviously, Glenn's a big proponent of engine oil testing, not only because it can help you make informed decisions, but it can also reveal problems before they become major problems. Are you seeing anything out of range? Uh, you know, if it's out of range, typically. Like I say, on the oxidation piece, you, you would see maybe shoot, it could have been one in five that would, would just tick over the oxidation number that you wanted to see. But it was explained and you knew about it. Now, occasionally you'll get a sample back of man, it's it's got all kind of stuff going on. Well, then you take that one and you, you backtrack in your, your history. Typically, you're going to see some failure that you had that caused the downstream. You can usually pinpoint why. That's happened. So you just look at the, the averages of the samples coming in and, hey, that's okay, move out to the next step. A lot of preventive maintenance happens during an oil change. It's not all about the engine oil. And pushing out its drain intervals to 75,000 miles required that Ozark tailor its B service. Since the truck is coming in anyway, Glenn says there's not a lot of savings to be had in labor, but the savings in oil is considerable for a fleet his size. As it turned out, the 75, we do a mini service at 25, a second mini service, and then a full service. So we're seeing the trucks, I mean, we're going to see them at least every 25,000 miles. So it just makes sense. The, the BM is so important. I mean, you got to do it. I mean, uh, and, and different Companies have different philosophies. We want to do everything in house. We want to see the truck. We want to touch the truck. I mean, kind of, we're 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 touching it or seeing it anyway. The savings of it all, uh, uh, you know, it's a time savings. Not having to drop the oil every time, but the, the cost of it, I don't know that we see just a huge savings. I, I can tell you, over the year, I could see the cost of the of the oil drop. I mean, because it's a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. But the efficiency, again, we're going to see the truck every 25,000 miles. We're going to touch it. So what you're saving is physically dropping the oil, you know, which may take 30 minutes. You know, the cost of the oil to filter and the 30 minutes just to drop it and refill. For fleets wanting to push oil drain intervals but a little too skittish to actually pull the trigger, Glenn advises to take small steps and use the information your samples give you. And set realistic targets that line up with an already existing service interval so you're not just pulling in the units for an oil change. So if you're at 40 and, and you're seeing the truck at 20, then 60 to me would be the, the right number and look at it at 20 and 40. You might even take a sample at 40 until you got comfortable. You know, to see what you had at 40 and then again at 60. I, I'm just figuring out what the next step was. Probably wouldn't go straight to 75. I am caution you just to, you know, understand what you have first and then take one small step and improve that out and then go to the next step. Glenn's takeaway from this 1044, a journey of 75,000 miles begins with a single step. Again, the short story would be take small steps, oil sample, and just uh, it, it'll, it'll tell you what to do. That's it for this week's 1044. You can read more on ccjdigital.com. And as always, you can find the 1044 each week on CCJ's YouTube channel. And if you've got questions, comments, criticisms, or feedback, please hit us up at 1044trucking at gmail.com or give us a call 404-491-1380. And until next week, everybody stay safe.